Hello everyone, it's Christine here and I am back for our stitch along and we are moving on to glove stitch and glove stitch is traditionally used, not surprisingly, in the making of fine kid gloves. It has a similar appearance to the first row of zigzag stitch and it's also often used to stitch the edges of ch chatelaines and boxes together as it makes a very pretty edge. They suggest marking two parallel lines on the fabric to help keep the stitches even. I'm going to be using my line along here and my line along here, so just this lower brown shaded section. So I'll be starting here and working my stitches um, across from left to right. And it's basically a zigzaggy stitch, so it's not complicated. This one's going to be nice and easy. Um, you just want to make the stitches nice and even. So I'm going to pop through at the back and then I'm going to um, from the back to the front I'm going to come out at the bottom of that brown section and then I'm going to take my needle back to the back at the top of the brown section so I'm basically just going to do a stitch that goes upwards and then I'm going to come back to um, the bottom of the brown section and pop out through the same hole and then I'm going to go diagonally upwards to put the next stitch in place and then I'm going to go directly below that last stitch that I've just done to make another upward straight stitch and go back in through that same hole. And then I'm going to come back down to the bottom where the other stitch, um, where that hole is, bring my needle out through that same hole and then I'm going to go diagonally again. So that's what we're going to repeat all the way across doing an upwards stitch to meet the diagonal stitch and then doing a diagonal stitch from the bottom across and then doing an upward stitch to the top and then a diagonal stitch across And I think having this in the hoop is definitely helping just to keep the um, fabric nice and taut so you can get those really sort of um, crisp, crisp lines. I'm using my Razzle variegated thread like I used on the bottom here, but a different, different colour colourway. I'll make sure I stay on camera. I hope you are having a great day or a great evening. Hopefully you find this one nice and easy, but I do think it's a very pretty little um, effect and yeah, it would be lovely on um, sort of edges of things as a decorative stitch. Or indeed, if you are ever making a pair of gloves, you know what to, you know what to use. <laughs> But yeah, it's a simple stitch, but I think it's an effective stitch. Just make sure you, even when you're using the hoop, just sort of, yeah, straighten it out if it is sort of puckering the, the fabric. But you're always doing one straight stitch and then one diagonal stitch. Just got caught on there. And then one more straight stitch and take it to the back and then you can just tie it off. And as you can see, you get a nice little, neat little dashy effect on the other, other side. Probably tie it 
tie that off in a moment, but I'll give you a final little little look. So yeah, very sweet and lovely with this um, sort of glistening thread. I think it works quite quite effectively. So I hope you enjoy doing that. Maybe you'll even want to, if I had have thought about it, I could have stitched myself a, a glove shape. Um, I'm sure maybe Linda, she did a fish um, with fishbone stitch recently, which was particularly impressive. Um, so Linda, I'm throwing the challenge out to you or one of our other little stitch along community if you want to um, stitch a glove using a glove stitch. Thanks everyone and I will chat to you soon. Bye.